That makes way more sense. LA's yellow? Holy crap, that was close. Hi, welcome to another episode of House Rules here on Tech Geek Gamers. I am one of your hosts, Corey, and that is Cam. And today, we are playing another round of Dice Throne Season 2. Uh, remember, we don't teach you how to play here on House Rules. We just play for your fun and amusement. If you like that, head over to patreon.com slash techgeekgamers. Throw us a few bucks. You can get the episode early. Uh, help us buy booze. And more importantly, help us buy board games. Um, the last little bit is going to be a lot of onesies and twosies. Because a lot of people are off having babies and doing other important things that Cam and I don't. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, remember, like I said, we don't teach you how to play, but if we break a rule, leave a comment below, and we will take a shot, just like the following 14 people did. <laughs> uh, unfortunately, we're not going to take 14 shots because he's two people have to drive home, yeah. and um, I want to actually play a game instead of just fall over fall over throw up and then get banned from twitch okay. which we stream every monday at 8 30 on twitch.tv slash techie cameras anyway so we're gonna go oldest to newest uh nico petrello who's actually our newest patron so thanks nico um i think it's nico maybe it's ben pretty sure it's nico sure could put my we'll just go for thanks nico whether <laughs> you're in it or not okay uh so, um, oh, this isn't really, he's, uh, if I only know the rules, I could get them to drink. So I guess that's not. So we're down to 13. Okay. This is good. <laughs> we're knocking these out. Um, in our, uh, in our Nemesis playthrough, uh, mm -hmm. at 31 mm -hmm. minutes, the, I think the rules ooh, on the card are pretty clear. You can ruse, you can use the room ability, even if it has the malfunction marker. Oh. Really? I don't know. That doesn't... Okay. Anyway. Yeah. Uh, that's one. We're only going to take, again, four. Uh, Tarconis, again. Same episode later. Uh, also... Oh, wait. Hold on. Scroll through these. All these really bad. Oh, wait. Did we already do this? If I move it down. Uh, you can't use a room ability when an intruder isn't in the room. I think you check the status of the engines with intruder present. I don't that, remember. That sounds pretty right, though. Yeah. <laughs> The lack of convec conviction. Oof, this is gonna be. Yeah. Bad. <laughs> I haven't even started drinking yet. <laughs> anyway, um, and then Marshall Todd uh, started watching our Imperial Salt playthrough, and oh boy. <laughs> Imperial Salt? How long ago was that? Uh, well, it's two years ago. Okay. Uh, but anyway, he's just catching up. Um, unfortunately, for whatever reason, all his comments are, no are not found. I don't know what that means. Did he remove them? Uh, I, I, I don't know. I guess I don't want to... No, I'm not going to go through that. They're here. Anyway, uh, the next... Oh, I, yeah, you're going to do two. I'm doing two, and Nate's doing two. So we're yeah, going to do that's... six shots. So the next four are all from Marshall, all from our first episode of Imperial Assault. Jesus. Really rocked it out of there. 13-8, uh, you can move diagonally if one part of the ellipses, because then it goes away, and I can't tell, but I'm going to take it to something bad. We yeah. broke the rule. Uh, then at 17 minutes, an interrupt happens immediately. It interrupts the ellipses. 25-19, uh, cleave and blast. Uh, both deal the damage amu ellipses. Nice. And then uh, at 33 <laughs> minutes, activated abilities... Can only be used once per T. Ellipses. I would say. I would say turn. Turn. Uh, but anyway, he goes on to call us on. He's on part three now. <laughs> so <laughs> there's, like I said, there's quite a bit, quite a bit. <laughs> so uh, again, we are drinking a multitude of beverages. Yeah. That was one, two, three, four, uh, five, and six. Okay. Uh, so I'm drinking our uh, limited edition, about to be back in season, uh, Christmas Peppermint Twist mm -hmm. from Smirnoff. And I have got the Sweet Sippin' Canadian Maple Whiskey. Ah, that's a good one. I like that I like one. it too. And Nate's uh, drinking our Boom Boo. A Boo Boo. A Boo Boo. Uh, so thanks very much for your comments. Uh, 
It's going to be 10 minutes until we get to the actual game. Yeah. I think I want something different for my next shot. Oh, you're going to mix? Ooh. That's a bold choice, sir. I'll stay in brand and have Berry Blast. It's limited edition as well. Oh, my hands are already shaking. Mm. <laughs> oh, I'm not going to like this. This taste. This smells like cough syrup. Yeah. Yeah, remember the smell and the taste are completely different? No. I don't, no, not. I don't. I'm just saying that to make you feel better. Oh, okay. All right. And thanks again. And cheers. Oh, uh. well, that's not a good look. <laughs> <laughs> not having that again. Corey might be uh, falling is... over and throwing up anyway. No, that's cough syrup. That is like oh. literal like. Well, if you're getting sick, you might not anymore. That's true. All right. Oh, let's get into it. Okay, so we roll a dice to see who goes first. <laughs> I got a lot of saliva going on. That's going to be the game. That's going to be how it goes. By the way, I am excellent at rolling dice. <sighs> Just be sure to call them up unless they fall out of the screen. Damn it! <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, so uh, Cam goes first. Yep. So uh, Shuffle and draw four. You don't get your upkeep or income phases as the starting player. I do start with three doubloons. Uh, who are you? I am the Cursed Pirate. Whatever it takes, the booty will be mine. You have some cool abilities, and if you get to I it, do? you can flip your board over to become an even more powerful Cursed Pirate. Well, once the curse... Uh, uh, takes shape, right? Takes over. Because you have cursed blooms that are holding the curse at bay? Uh, yeah. Yeah, because once they go... Dive into the lore a little bit. How I, was your childhood? No. Uh, well, <laughs> only child, abandoned by parents, you know, the usual pirate story. <laughs> Female pirate story, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right, All right uh, uh, four cards? Yeah, I'm the gunslinger. The gun is mightier than all of you. Okay, yeah, probably, I mean... We're pretty weak. Yeah. Surprisingly, Cam pointed out in the pre-show, we do a pre- and post-show at twitch.tv slash techgeekgamers every Monday, check it out. Um, that I'm wearing my uh, last word gun, and it matches. So, yeah, it was a pure coincidence. Was it? It was. What do I have that I can force you to... <gasps> that looks good. Ooh, Ooh, what's that? Okay, I... Uh... Um, hmm. all, right. all right. Should I do that or should I do that? Let's uh let's just let's just uh let's make sure I'm doing the right. <laughs> all right, playability. So I'm going to spend all my CP this turn. Ah. Oh. And I'm going to light it up. What you is get a powder keg. Oh. So That's uh a... you roll one die on your upkeep phase. Fuck, okay. On a 1 to 2, you receive 3 damage. On a six, you pass it to anyone. A player affected with this token must roll during your upkeep. On one to two, the keg blows up. On three to five, nothing happens. On six, the player afflicted may transfer it. Additionally, if a player becomes inflicted with powder keg while already inflicted with powder keg, the first one immediately blows up. When it blows up, remove it and deal three damage. So you can stack them. Yeah, well, as soon as... Oh, oh, yeah, of course. <laughs> <laughs> I only do a ton of damage, Corey. Yeah, just just get bombed. So last time uh, I played uh, Jack, I thought he was going to steamroll me, and it came down really close. Okay. Um, I don't think that's going to happen. I think I'm going to get just absolutely... Well, we'll see what happens. Uh, we are starting with 50 HP. Correct. So I am going to attack. Only once. To a small string. So I could technically. You have one, two, two, three. Yeah, it's, I'm just looking at what I want to do. I think I'm going to keep the six, re roll the four. Ballsy maneuver. Okay, that's another, that's another two sixes. Yep. It's going to be a quick game. Mm -hmm. It's fine. Hmm. Does he go for, with his last roll, does he go for the fourth? You know what? I'm just going to reroll this one. Okay. Just in case. Oh, look at that! <laughs> oh my god. 
Okay, All so right. that's uh, you gain. Okay. That's the black spot. I gain a doubloon. Okay. By the way, I can only stack them to five maximum. All right. So keeping me honest, uh, I'm going to inflict a parlay. Which is what? Deal uh, deal no damage when attacking. A player afflicted with parlay may not deal any damage as a result of their offensive roll phase. At the conclusion of the roll phase, remove this token. Uh, of course, yeah. Yeah, so there's great. a white flag for Corey. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, and it's also deal seven undefendable damage. Okay. So. Uh, I'm down to 43. We're off to a good start. Uh, and then I don't believe I can take my next main phase. No, I cannot. So you may go. Okay. Because I have zero CP. So I'm going to roll my upkeep to see if you do three more damage to me. Uh, no, that would be... Uh, yes, you're right. Three. Five. Nothing, Nothing happens. happens. Nothing happens. But it does. It stays there. Does it go away or does it just stay there? It says nothing happens, right? It says when a keg blows up, remove it. Or if I pass it. Or if you roll a six, you can pass so it. So this is just, I, I lit the fuse thinking it's going to go quick, and it just... It's one of those really long fuses, oh, like comically God. long. <laughs> I'm just pulling it out of the keg. <laughs> okay, anyway, well, that's good. Yep. Uh, I don't get more damage done to me. That's, that's true. Uh, I take a CP, and I draw a card. Uh, would be correct. Um, the whole point of this current time would be to use cards. I'm going to use, uh, two CP and upgrade my revolver to revolver two. And then I'm going to, uh, not Ooh. attack you, but attack you. Okay. Um, I'm going to take that roll. Yeah. It doesn't do anything. Because I have parlay on me. Yeah, but you could do... You could re-roll to try and get something that gives you a buff, right? Like, inflict uh, bounty. Is it just damage? That. I just can't it's inflict damage? just damage. Uh, a player afflicted by, with parlay may not deal any damage as a result of their offensive roll phase, although other effects may oh. still apply. Okay. Well, so uh, you just can't do damage to me, but you can still do your, your rolls. Well, let's see if I can get a, uh, a bounty hunter in there, because if I can inflict bounty on you... That's good. Yeah. Um, all right. Okay. <laughs> so now do I just take cover? What is what? gain evasive? Uh, evasive. So uh, evasive stacks up to three. You spend and roll one to two dodge to a an attack. Spend and roll. Oh, oh, spend and roll a one or two to dodge an attack. When a player with evasive receives damage, they may choose to spend this token. If spent, roll a die. If the outcome is one or two, no damage is received. Uh, multiple evasive tokens may be spent in an attempt to prevent the same source of damage. Okay. So I'm close to that. Kinda. I mean... I'm not doing damage to you. Evasive is good. That's probably the smarter play, you know? Am I gonna go... It's good. If this is fucking six, I'm going to be pissed. <laughs> God <damn. laughs> That's why you can't say it out loud. Uh, okay, so I, I, I do nothing. Okay, now you remove the parlay because you've done your offensive oh, roll. Oh, shoot. I, sorry. Uh, yeah, that's from your upkeep, right? Yeah, I didn't yeah. do any damage, so it doesn't mean anything. I don't do anything. The parlay doesn't do anything. Yep. Well, it did do something. It did a lot, actually. Wait, a player afflicted with this may not deal any damage as a result of their offensive roll. At the conclusion of the roll phase, remove this okay. token. I was going to say, because I, I, I didn't actually try to attack you. It's like I pulled my guns and it went click, click, and I was like, damn it. And I put them away. Well, you, you tried to pull them out, but you fumbled them because the fuse was there and yeah. you got confused. And yeah. then, then you pulled out the white flag and stuff. All right, so my second main phase is I have to basically just, okay, it's your turn. Okay, uh, so upkeep phase... Remove any applicable status effects. Okay. Did you remove a coin at the end of your last turn? I did not. You are correct. So that is for the end of the last Probably turn. Probably shouldn't have told you that, because I don't think I want you to go to the other side. Uh, if I roll really well, the other side is a 
is bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you going to say hello uh, from the other side? No. That's fair. Okay, so I gain a CP and I gain a card. I don't like how you just have sixes rolling there. Like You're like, you know what, I'm going to just need them. You know, it's just... You know, I'll just call on them when I need them. Just, uh... Well... Actually, I only have one CP, so I'm just gonna uh, I'm just gonna go for it. Oh, I wonder how many CP you're gonna take from me this time. Hey, no. Oh, I was gonna okay. say, hey, no sixes, but that's still no. That's the six. <clears throat> so, what do I want to do? <laughs> I think. I'm just gonna re-roll these guys. Sure. Yeah. Alright, those are it's damage. Do I... That's literally the same thing you rolled the first time. Yeah. I'm just I feel really bad for you. I um do I go for more damage? On four of a kind inflict power to keg. Oh, which would then just do additional damage to me. But are you going to be able to roll two more threes out of your last... Oh, my God. I gotta... <laughs> Just because you said it. Ah, no, no. But I will be able to do... Six damage. Six damage. All right. So... I roll one defense of you and your attacker. Roll a die. If your roll is greater, you may choose to either deal three damage or pre prevent half of the damage oh, okay. rounding up. If your roll is not greater... Deal one damage. Okay. So I always, almost always will take damage. Fuck. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, well I hit you once. Yeah, uh, for one damage, right? Uh, yeah, thanks for just, oh, just for one, right? No big deal. I just want to be sure. And you did another six, right? Uh, yeah. Yeah. I'm down to 37. I'm down to 49. I, I thought we were it's your, doing a. It's, an your HP second, it's your second main phase. Are you doing anything? Uh. And no, no, I will not do anything. So my discard phase, and I lose one of those. I have two left. All right. So in my, I get in my upkeep phase, I gain a reload and I roll a die. Come on, six. Yeah. Okay. So that goes to me. Well, I'm not going to just throw no, it to is the it, side. No, I'm, I'm not well, sure. What's your ability? <laughs> oh, that's what you were... Uh, sorry, I thought you were rolling for the reload. No, I just, like get, a, I, just, just up, I just grab a yeah. reload. Yep, yeah. okay. So I got you now. I yeah. got you. Anyway, it doesn't say I can't use more than one reload at a time. I just can only have two. So I could I could go like, bam, 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 reload, bam, bam, bam. You could technically do that. And I then reload if, again. Yeah, sure. Anyway, uh, I gain one CP and I draw a card. Oh. Uh, I'm going to get paid for zero CP to gain two more CP. That's a good card. Oh, I didn't have Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. Okay. Uh, I am going. <laughs> Ooh. Okay. <laughs> okay. You're allowed to attack this time. Yay! All right. I already have Bounty Hunter, which is good. So Bounty Hunter would inflict Bounty and deal one undefendable damage. Yep, that's a lot of damage. Bounty is receive one damage. And attacker gets one CP. So when a player afflicted with this token is attacked by an opponent, the attacker increases their damage by one and gains a CP. Oh, that's pretty good. Persistent. So yeah. unless so you, it's just always unless I move it or that's get just rid of me. It. Yep. That's, that's me doubling up on my uh, every time I uh, attack. So I could do that. You could. Well, I might. I mean, you could just. Okay, so yeah, I'm doing that. So you get bounty. Okay. And then you take one undefendable damage. Which means you don't get to roll. 
Are we sure you don't get to roll? That seems weird, doesn't it? No, well, it's a defense roll. I guess. So and if, if it's, it's undefendable, undefendable, you shouldn't do anything. Yeah. The defense's ability is not activated, and the incoming damage type is undefendable. Yeah. Literally on page five. Yeah, that's perfect. You know, it's not like going through eight pages with the same thing about, that's true. you know, horrors. Um, okay, so... Wait... Um, <laughs> do I draw two? Or do I hold the line? Oh! Oh! Also, I should reload. I guess I've already said it in my main phase, so that would be unfair for me to do that. Isn't so, that part of your main phase? It's part of my offensive roll phase, but because uh, I've already said yeah. I've done that, so that's fair. Um, I'm not going to do anything, so it, it's back over to you. Okay, so upkeep phase, I'm going to roll for the powder keg. Nothing happens. And then nothing happens for that. Uh, and then income oh, phase. My apologies. Yes. I inflict bounty, which then I deal one undefendable damage. Which I took. Right. Bounty adds one non-undefendable damage to my attack, which would then activate... So I'm allowed to defend it. You're allowed to defend the one, and I would get... 1 CP. Okay. Which is stupid because you could hurt me, but. Well. You I don't. gain 3 CP. Oh, of course. Either and way. And I deal it's one fair, damage. though, because it, it, it's. Well, do a, it, so I, I gain 1 CP for each of these, right? Is yeah, that, that's. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. Before you. Well, you know, thank you for that. Yeah, no problem. But uh, hey. I still take 1 damage, though. But so do you. Oh, damn. Yes, you would take an additional damage. Yes. Okay. How are you down to 47? Uh, you hit me twice for one damage. Okay. Yeah. And then the bounty damage. Remember you won oh, okay, with yeah, the yeah. duel? All right. <clears throat> okay. Uh, so I did my upkeep phase. I rolled for the powder keg. Uh, so I gained a CP already. Okay. that's what I was doing. Yeah. And now I gain a card. I hope that card's a really, really high level ability where you just need to blow all your CP on. I really do. Well, <laughs> with how I'm rolling... Yeah, no kidding. We're going to go for some high stakes. So, that costs me two. Oh, yeah, but you're going to see if you can get any back. And every... I roll two of these, and I got nothing. Oh. That's okay. But you draw two cards, don't you? Oh, no, no on those. On, only if I get those, then I draw two cards Ooh. and gain two CP. So, it's a high stakes. It's high stakes. I get yeah. it. Do you? No. It almost sounded like you didn't. No. Well, well. Okay, so, uh, lot, so. we're going to um, do some... Damage? Damage. Offensive rolling. Okay, we got one of those. We got one of those. Big surprise. Roll to six. I'd like to see an ultimate this game, but they rarely happen. Hmm, <laughs> that's you just literally the same roll. <laughs> Let's just go for it again. Okay. We're going big time. No, no, that's a three instead of a two. You are correct. So, uh, I, mean, I shaved the dice as much as yeah. I could to stay away from the sixes. But. So, uh, deal five damage. All right, well, um, I'm going to, okay, well, we take a die. We roll it against each other. Oh, right. Aha! Your roll is greater. You may choose to either deal three damage or prevent half. I'm I'm gonna. So it's five damage. Rounding up. So you'd take two damage if you decide to take it. Yes, I'm gonna take two damage. Okay. Instead of giving you three and taking five. <laughs> now I am at my second main phase. I really want to get you knocked down. Four of a kind. Oh, well, that's a really cool card. Um, oh, so these... Oh, I didn't realize it says instant action, main phase action, main phase action, roll phase action stuff on the actual card. On the card, yeah. yeah. They, they make it so people like you and I can 
Kind of just, yeah, yeah, I just kind of get through it. Yeah. <laughs> okay, my main phase, I am... Uh, I'm not going to do anything, and I'm going to discard a doubloon. H how do you get doubloons? Uh, either rolling this on defensive. Uh, I can gain them here. I can gain them here. Okay. Uh, so there's abilities to gain them, but... Okay. I'm going to take... I'm going to... Uh, yeah. My upkeep phase, I can't grab any more reloads. I'm going to gain my CP and my income and my card. Mm -hmm. Did you okay. gain your reload? I, I can only have a stack of two. Gotcha. So, we're good. Um, um, okay. I'm rolling. Six. Oh, oh, but take cover. One, two. All right, all right, all right. Um, let's go with. Does that help me right now? No, it doesn't. Okay. Um, do I go for a small straight? Or do I try to go for... I want knockdown. Which is really a pain in the ass for you. Knockdown is to remove this token. A player afflicted with it must spend 2 CP before the start of their offensive roll. If the player does not, they must skip their offensive roll, and then this oh, okay. is removed. Yeah. It's like a... Stop. You knock me down. Yeah. Yeah. Or you get up, yeah. You're never going to keep me down. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not here. <laughs> <laughs> Must turn. be that curse I've got. It's, hey, a, it's, into it's that. Halloween. It's, it's Halloween. <laughs> um, okay, I am going to... Oh, I'm rolling. Never mind. Yeah, uh, okay. Okay, um, I need damage on you. High damage. Lots of damage. All right, so we're going to do this. I'm saying no sixes. All right, well, they really want to come back, these sixes. You had a four, too. Yeah. Okay, so that would be five damage. Or... Do I make it... Wait, hold on a second. What? Did I not... Am I not allowed to roll my defense four at all? For what? When? I haven't hit you yet. Oh, yeah. Last, last turn was parlay. Sorry, I was thinking when I attacked you. you remember when you, you yeah. just crippled me with your parlay? Sorry. I'm one more shot and you did in roll. normal. <laughs> um, okay. Yeah, I'm going to do... Yeah, I'm going to do five damage to you, but I'm going to reload. So, spend at half of one attack die. So One damage. So you're at six. I'm going to spend again. Mm-hmm. Nine. Nine. Nine over to you. Some un... Okay. So I deal three damage, and I prevent two. So I take seven damage. And I deal three damage to you. Okay. It's what you call... A counterattack. Oh, uh, sorry. Increase attack by one. Right, right. So. And I get an additional CP. So I take one more damage. Yes. Okay. Okay. <laughs> now on my second main phase. Yep. Uh, I'm gonna spend two CP. Okay. To uh, draw three cards. Okay. Then I'm going to Vegas Baby, which is zero CP, uh, which is roll one die, gain half in CP. Yeah. Two. So two more. Okay. And then and then uh, and then I'm done. Over to you. 
Okay, how long does the bounty last until indefinitely? Uh, it's persistent. Persistent, right. So you'd have to remove yep. a status nope, effect. That's that's what I need to know. Okay. So upkeep, roll one of these for powder keg, and I take three damage. Ooh. It's a tough one. Burn. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. Now it is my income phase, so I gain one CP. Draw a card. You have all six cards. Huh? I do. I do have six. I did not discard down to six. I have six. Four and yeah, two, no, three I, and three, I, five uh... and one. Six and nothing. We're just going to go straight to the offensive roll. Ooh. <laughs> it's a very intense stare. One, two, three. Ooh. Does he keep the six and roll it two more times? Or does he go for the inside four? Inflict powder keg and, and deal, deal seven, seven damage? damage? Oh, and then next turn. Is there a way that I can force you to take a doubloon? Like, hey, I have a cursed doubloon. Just take it. We're going for the big time. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. Now, you get to roll one as more time. soon as i done my roll, is that the end of the offensive roll? No. Okay. Not until you say. Like, if you have cards in your hand that are offensive roll modifiers or cards that will change your cards to other or change your dice to other cards then no <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> that just happened the ultimate that just happened fuck i literally don't have anything that can change it all right so, Pirate's Touch. Oh, yeah. Deal 12 damage. Yeah. Gain two Cursed Doubloons. I inflict Parlay and Powder Keg. Okay. I'm down to 19. Oh, don't you get to uh, oh, yeah. roll defense? Oh, right. That? Sorry. Oof. So that, okay, hold on. So add 12 back to that. 31. Okay. Yay! Okay. Uh, I will prevent half of, oh no, I can't. It's unpreventable. It's no, it, it just says deal 12 damage. It doesn't say undefendable damage. Weird. Is yours undefendable? No, it's not. But I thought the ultimates were always undefendable. Well, check the rules. Okay. Maybe they are. They're an ultimate. The damage effects on an ultimate ability can be enhanced, but cannot be reduced, prevented, avoided, responded to, or interrupted by anything. Oh. Cards, status effects, companions. Opponents may take no action of any kind from the time it is activated until the conclusion of the roll phase. The only way to prevent an ultimate ability is to alter the die roll. Yeah, no, I take 12 damage. Okay, no, sorry, I didn't... Uh... No, I, yeah, okay, that's fair. I appreciate the the sentiment of hey maybe you get a shot but I don't. Uh, yeah. So uh... did you want to modify that in any role? Because you didn't say you're on your next main phase. You want to just like tick, 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 some more. No, uh, I'm on my main phase. Okay, that's that's all I can do. So I am actually going to. Uh... Discard phase, so... Discard down to six? Yep, and remove one of those. Okay. Can't believe you rolled an ultimate. All right, so my upkeep phase. Come on, six. Very nice. <laughs> Boom. Um, I get one of those. I get a CP and a card. Um... And then I'm in my main phase, 
and I am going to spend two to play Transference. Transfer one status effect token from a chosen player to another. That would be wise. You can have your own parlay. Okay. Take that. Sure. Um, Did you just, like, stick the white flag in the, the keg and just toss it over <laughs> onto my ship? Hey, he's throwing a keg in a flag. Oh, we don't get to do anything, do we? <laughs> what is this? Oh, no. <laughs> um, then I have six still. So I can't draw anymore. So then I am going to roll. Something something big. I need big. Like, lots of sixes here. One six. Uh, one, two, one, two, uh, one, two, four. What does a large straight do? Gain evasive and deal seven damage. Evasive is pretty good, but not great. Um, all right, so I got that, that. Oh, I can do take cover. Mm-hmm. You already have... What the shit? I don't know where these noises are yeah, coming from. Yeah. Um, you already have bounty, so I can't inflict bounty on you again. That is true. So let's see if I can get a four or five to take cover. There's the six. Yeah. That one dice likes to... Uh... And a four. Okay. There you go. So I will take cover, which is gain, gain evasive. Yeah. And deal five damage. However, I'm going to reload. And do another three damage. So that's eight damage to you. Okay. And then uh, I'm going to spend a CP and play Eat Lead, attack modifier. Roll five die. Add one for every bullet to the total damage. If at least four damage was added, inflict knockdown. Okay. Sixes. Ooh, three. three extra damage. So that was five plus eight, or plus three was eight, plus three is 11. Plus bounty is 12. Plus bounty is 12, which gives me a CP back. Jesus. And I'm going to reduce six of that, <laughs> and you're going to take one damage. Okay. okay. So that was what? You're at six. Six. Six damage. Yep. Okay. Felt like a lot for six damage. I did have to roll three six. That's true, there. that's true. Three out of four. Um and then I am going to what do I have here? Five. I think that's it. That's all I can do. Alright. So end main phase, you're uh off to you. Roll, okay. Roll your powder keg. Powder keg. Two. Boom, I take three damage. I've done more damage to you with powder kegs, I think. You've done six damage to me with powder kegs. That's pretty good. Um, okay. Then uh, then I'll add a CP. Mm -hmm. Take a card. Take a card. Uh I mean, I'm just going to, uh, I'm just going to pillage. Okay. Lots so of... I'm going to take a CP from you. Oh, okay. Oh, man. You know, just robbing from the rich, eh? I am, uh... <laughs> Wait, could I have... I really... <sighs> I really want to see how this goes. So, I'm on my offensive roll phase. Okay. And there is one roll that I want. Right. Remember, you can't... I know. Okay. <laughs> More sixes. And we're just going to do this. I, I'm going to... Uh, no, no, I'm not. Uh, let's... Jesus. Okay, so you did black spot. How many fucking sixes has he rolled? <laughs> well, get this. Oh, no. I am going to play this and shiver me timbers. This could go, this could backfire horribly. I just want to see how this goes. I may remove as many doubloons as possible. So I'm going <laughs> to remove all of them. You can't turn yet. Uh, oh, right, because it, you'd end your turn. Hold on. 
We'll do, let's do it at a time. You will turn on your at the end of yours. Is yeah. that how it works? Yeah, right? Because if you can't, at the end of your turn when you're supposed to remove it, if you can't <coughs> flip. But you deal seven undefendable to me, right? And, no, I, I don't because I'm parlay. Yeah. You, you pointed that out to me specifically. Yeah, I'm a moron. I, I like how I rolled four sixes there anyways. Uh, and I was like, oh, I just need three. I think you've rolled like... 15 or 16 16. Yeah, it's, it's been unreal. So I got rid of all my doubloons. Okay. That's what I wanted to do. No damage for me. Uh, uh, but I, at the end of your turn, you do remove the, uh, the phase, right? At the end of the roll phase, remove the flank. Yes. So that goes away So right you now. let me live another day to become really powerful. Well, we'll see, because I didn't really read it. So yeah. I just saw, like, one thing. Right, but... Um, okay, so that uh, now it's my uh, other phase, right? Your second main. Yeah. Well, that worked out better than I expected. Yeah, totally. Great for you. Awesome. Okay, so that is uh, my discard phase. So I believe it's only when I can do... Yeah, it's at the next phase of your upkeep, right? But it doesn't... Nope. Sorry, not that. It doesn't actually say it in here when I flip. Oh, is it on the other side? Oh, it's this one. Jeez. There it is. At the conclusion of your turn, remove it. If you don't have anything you can remove, flip it over for the remainder. So this is my end of my turn. Yeah. We are now the cursed pirate. Does it say, do you keep your status effects? I, it didn't say you did remove it. If the pirate on our cursed side has an opponent attack afflicted by parlay, is the opponent then afflicted by the pirate? Okay, no. Um, it doesn't say remove... Uh, is there any way to flip my board from Cursed Pirate back to the no, human side? No, there's not. So, no, I think you're still... My I... passive now is during my upkeep phase, I receive four damage, which cannot be changed in any way, reduced or prevented. Okay. If an opponent's offensive roll phase does not result in an attack, they are afflicted with Powder Cake. Oh my god. Ba blam Powder Cake. So yeah, the Abyssal Walk is now steal a CP, opponent discards a card, inflict wither, and deal eight damage. Great, let's just really talk about the things you're going to roll all the time. What is okay. four skulls and five skulls? Four skulls is inflict parlay, powder keg, and wither, and eight undefendable damage. Okay. Yeah, Shivering that's... is eight undefendable damage, add one damage for each curse of the balloon that opponents are afflicted with. So you're basically enraged. Uh, my defense roll is now five. Oh, of course. And uh, those are all the same, actually. And inflict curse the balloon means that on this one I you give get to, to you now. give me and then I take damage because you're a dickhead. Uh, the other one is gain two CP and roll four more dice. Undefendable damage. Oh, draw cards. And your curse touch is now deal 13 damage and inflict everything. And I only need three of a kind for powder kicks. So you deal even more damage. Wither there. is now uh, in, uh, generally instead of parlay. Uh, attacker deals minus one damage per token. Yeah, during their office rule. Great. And it can stack twice. Cool. Are you done? Uh, that's the end of my turn. Oh, that was okay. during oh, sorry. The... I'm just making sure. Yeah. Just, it's taking a while. So. Well, you know what? You want <laughs> just wanted to tell you all the ways you're going to die. Die? Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. Yeah. I look pretty badass, too. Why is he grabbing the sword? That's how much of a badass he is. Like he just can touch the sword on the sharp edge? Yeah. The pointy side? And take a card. Ooh. I have... Ooh. All right, well, I'm going to spend two, two CP. Oh, I didn't gain my CP. Because we had the same going. Yes, so. that is. So I'll spend two CP to upgrade Fan the Hammer to Fan the Hammer 2, which is my large straight ability that gives me also an additional two ability. Abilities. Pistol Whip. Ooh. Gain Evasive, Inflict Knockdown, do one damage. Very nice. I am all about, like, just that little tiny... You're, you're more of a, a ding, BB ding. gun... <laughs> Than a revolver. Uh, anyway, and then I am going to play one CP to double up and draw two cards. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <gasps> what do I do there? What is this? <laughs> what is the difference? Okay, I'm going to read this to you. I'm not going to play it because sure. it doesn't sound good. You and your attacker each roll one. This is my defense. Dual two. 
If your roll is gr oh, okay, so hey, this is the difference. If your roll is greater, if your roll is equal or greater, I get to do my top ability. Okay. If your roll is less. Okay. So it just adds that equal yeah. win. So, not really great. Oh, I didn't tell you. The discard phase, in your main phase as well, just FYI, you can sell cards to gain CP. Oh, so all the cards to sell all cards beyond six means you gain the CP. So you get one CP per card. Not the cost of the... Right, But right. you gain one CP. Just... Not like I'm going to do that, but... I mean, that would have been nice to know because I had a card that... Got I apologize. No, that's When okay. you win, I will be like, oh, if only you had more CP. I'm going to take more damage from the curse that you gave <laughs> You will. I guarantee the Powder curse. Cakes. I'm gonna sit here and be like, pew pew, evade, evade, pew pew, and you'll be like, I just died from my own like stupid ability. Um, okay. Uh, and... Okay, let's roll. All right. So, oh look at that. I got. Take cover if I wanted it. No, I didn't. I didn't. I haven't got anything. I did. Okay. Um, how many does a uh, stacks? Okay. All right. All right. I want to try to pistol whip you. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds fun. All right. Or, okay. Uh -huh, well, this is uh -huh, going to end up uh -huh, being literally uh -huh. nothing. Uh -huh. Hey! Well, you got a pistol whip. I did pistol whip you. Okay. I challenge you to a duel, sir. I'm going to spend one CP and six it. Change the value of one of your dice to a six. Yep. And then I'm going to spend one CP okay. to play samesies. Change the value of one of your dice to be identical to the value of another one of your dice. Okay. I'll change that to a six. Okay. So then I'm going to dead eye you. Yep. Which is inflict knockdown. Yep. And deal six undefendable damage. Okay. Seven, uh, you get to yep, the additional damage, and I get a CP because of my bounty. Yep. But you get to roll against the one damage because okay. it's not undefendable. Right? I don't, unless, it just says increases their attack by one, but I think that just gives you. I don't think that's. One, it doesn't. What it, is you frequently ask questions? Oh, maybe. Hold on. See, that's why I didn't... Yeah, I know. Well, it doesn't really bother me, though. Bounty adds one damage. Uh, yeah. A lot of things about evading. Um, nothing about... I, I, I assume I it just adds one... One damage. Yeah, I don't think I would roll against that at all. Oh, you don't think so? Nope. I think it just adds it... Straight up. You don't think it would add... You think it adds a one undefendable damage to it? Well, I think it just increases the damage you take by one. That It does make sense, but at the same time, I, I want to make sure, sure we're playing fair. And, Absolutely. Um, resolving action cards. It's probably not going to answer. It seems weird that I would roll against the bounty damage if everything is else is undefendable. Okay, any uh, card or status effect that modifies an attack is considered an attack modifier... Um, they can be played before or after a defense, after the defense ability is activated. Damage added by attack modifiers is to be, oh yeah, is to be added in, is considered to be the same damage as the type of the original, all right? Yeah, yeah, that, that just makes sense to me. I think you've rolled against it once or twice, but that's fire. Uh, fire? No, I rolled against the other one damage that all your other abilities do. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, okay, okay, so it's, um, main phase. It's seven, undefendable. Uh, yeah. I you already, took it? I took it. Uh, you got knocked down? Uh, yeah, I do. I took my CP, and I am going to, uh, yep, shoot, I should have used that, that's okay. I already said it's my main phase. Go ahead. Okay. So now it's my upkeep phase. Uh, knockdown is just spend it during the offensive To remove time. this token, a player afflicted with this must spend 2 CP at the start of their offensive roll phase. If the player does uh, does not, they must skip their offensive roll phase right. and... So, so, upkeep phase so I have nothing to roll. No powder kegs, no nothing, so I gain CP, gain a card. But don't you take some damage? Yes, you're right, I take 4 damage. 
And I did do damage to you, so luckily you don't throw a powder keg at me. Yeah. Awesome. Oh, it just, it just says results in an attack. It doesn't say necessarily that there's damage. So if you're parlayed, you automatically will get a powder keg. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What a change of fortunes here. You went cursed. And then now lower health. But I don't know if... I want to do this. Spend the 2 CP to get rid of your knockdown? Are you going to get up again? I would like to see how this... <laughs> Am I ever going to keep you down? That's really good. I'm just wondering how I can get some CP. That's... Uh, steal it. I think that's what you do, isn't it? I can it? steal it or I can gain it from there. Oh, okay. Because, uh... Well, the... What is that? that in my next... Dreadmark. Three chests, because those are fours and fives, right? That's not too bad. Yeah, okay, so I'm going to spend the two CP, because this is my offensive roll time. Okay. Uh, knockdown goes away. Yeah. A lot of damage. Also, three of a kind could inflict powder keg. Of course. Um, wow. What is it? Nine? Nine for five. five? Yeah. It's not undefendable, though. So you could have it. We're going for all of it. Yeah. What? I didn't roll any sixes. Oh my god, and then you roll three sixes? Well, yeah. Jesus. I thought I was just gonna... I was like, oh, well, I can just do this. <laughs> and then we'll roll... Oh, of course. That. Ooh. But it doesn't matter, because we'll spend one CP. Samesies. Six it. Six it. All right. I'll change that to a six. Do you have another one of those to just ultimate me? No, I don't. Oh, it's too bad. Well, that's too bad because now I'm going to inflict parlay. Powder keg. Powder keg. And wither. All right. And deal eight undefendable damage. Okay, so do you think I can evade that? Because it's not defense. It's spent. Uh, what does it say in the thing? Undefendable. Because I think it's uh, undefendable can't be. Yeah, so you wouldn't be able to do your duel. No, but I could. You can technically reduce it and everything, though, right? Right, yeah. So I think I could evade it using my status ability. Correct. I think that's fair, right? Oh, wait. Undefendable damage, not defendable, it is avoidable. So, all right. I'm, so, what does that do? I'm going to use my evade and hope for a one or a two. Okay. You've to dodge a the lot attack. Of those, though, so that's okay. Uh, you did not. So, is that a four or is that a five? Uh, that would be a five. Because... That's a five. That's totally a five. If I rerolled it anyway, it's a four. So okay. Five. <laughs> <laughs> the world has spoken. That's right. the curse. Okay. Um, so, eight. Undependable okay. damage. I'm down to 10. Now it's my main phase again. I don't really know what I'm doing. <laughs> what is wither? Uh, it just reduces one. Uh, oh, okay. Each of your damage gets reduced. Okay, by one. that's fair. Because um, I only do one damage on all my abilities. I know, it's really good. Uh, yeah, now I'm at my discard phase and uh, I will end my turn. Okay. Okay. I will roll to see if I blow up. Mm hmm. Nothing happens. Nothing happens. It's it only on one to two. Stays there. Um, okay. I get a reload on mine. Mm -hmm. And then. Uh, oh, I get my status. I get my CP and I get my card. Um, so, in my main phase, I'm going to say. This is kind of lame, but this is what's going to happen. I'm going to spend two CP and go... No, go ahead. Uh, what status effects? Remove all status effects tokens. From now, I was just going to say, this is a frequently asked question. 
If the pirate on her cursed side and an opponent attacks while they are inflicted with parlay, is the opponent then inflicted with powder keg due to my passive ability? Which is the opponent fence right. builds not result in an attack. No, it states, does not result in an attack. As long as the ability they activate deals damage that targets another player, they do not receive the powder keg, but parlay still means the ability does not deal damage. Oh. So just a note. That was, oh, okay. That I'm... was my whole strategy, actually, and I didn't... Didn't okay. Realize that. We give it. Great. All this is gone. Oh, it's gone. Okay. Include my reload though. I lost both of my reloads. Okay. Because it's remove all status effect tokens from a chosen player. Sure. Yep. I have chosen myself. Yep. Um. And then with that, I am gonna roll. Alrighty then. Six. Oh man, like why do I, I like I get such a weird spread? It's not a smorgasbord, if you will. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Okay. Well, I got three, four, five, six. So let's see if I can get a, a two for a large. No. Um. So small straight. After targeting an opponent target you yeah each roll one die if your roll is equal to or greater deal seven or eight actually uh otherwise deal six okay uh, that's a, that's got to be a six if that last one yep, was a five yep, that's got to be a six so that's how much damage eight and i get a cp and is that defendable uh yes it is defendable surprisingly <laughs> yeah just roll all your die again you're going to kill me on a fucking retaliate. So I gain three CP. Oh my God. And you take two damage. But I still take eight damage. Which means I am down to eight. So am I. Did you think it was going to be this close? This is how this was. That's why I said this is going to be a yeah, gamble. Yeah, that, that's totally a gamble. Um, okay, we're not doing that. Um, okay, and then that's it. I'm not going to sell... Ideally, I would sell this card for a CP, because I'm not going to use it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, but because we kind of screwed you over... Early, you know what? You got six CP. Did I take an extra damage from Yes. That? Okay. Eight was including the bounty. Perfect. Um, I'm going to sell... Oh, no, because it says sell cards beyond six. I'm okay. We're good. You're good? That's the end of your You turn. can sell cards in your first main phase to gain one CP, not in your second. Oh, no, you can. Doesn't matter. We're good. I'm fine. You're we're good? Gonna, we're leaving it as is. We're okay. okay. We're okay. okay. Okay, upkeep phase. I take four damage. Yikes. <laughs> Don't worry, I got a plan. I just I just got to roll well. Yeah, well, you can burst me eight easily. Yeah, I know. I don't have an evade. So I gain a CP, and I gain a card. So I'm going to spend one CP. Okay. It's a pirate's life. If your board has been flipped, heal three. Oh my god. Okay. Okay. So I'm up to seven. Yeah. I just gotta live. I might be able to beat you if I can get to my phase. Maybe. Do I gamble it? Yeah, I mean, I got it, right? Right. Oh, wow. Well, so just ultimate me. I'm going to two CP. Okay. And I'm going to triple up, draw three cards. Okay. Remember, you can sell in your main phase to gain more, more CP. So I got four CP. In case you were like, hey, I don't really want... A vast ye. A vast ye. Upgraded Jesus. times two or whatever. Oh, I wonder if you moving over, do you get it? <coughs> uh, sorry, that was... <clears throat> Weird. Kind of came out of nowhere. Uh, do you get... Do you have upgrade abilities for this side? Are they named... No. Are no, they named I, the have, I have not gotten a single upgrade ability. Oh. So I assume that that's this whole thing. Or maybe you just haven't pulled across any. It's fair. I'll look after. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. 
Okay, 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 okay. I'm gonna ask, because you have more than six, are you planning on selling cards down? Because in your main phase, you can sell them for CP, and in your discard phase, you can right sell them. Right now, no. Okay. It all depends on how this rule goes. Sixes. It's all sixes. Except, I'm gonna point this out, because mm -hmm. this is the first time you haven't done this, and moved all your dice back to six. No, I have a couple of times. No, just the first time. Attention. Never done before. So we'll just roll all six? Yeah, and probably. Yeah. One six. Okay. Okay. Remember, you get to re-roll a couple times. So don't start throwing your cards willy-nilly now. Oh, I, I, I've got a plan, though. Oh, okay. So we're going to take one of these. Okay. We're going to do one more time. May re-roll up to five dice. Now, does that count as... I would hold on to that. Does this not... Because you get to oh, re-roll... up to five dice. Oh, you get shit. to re-roll two more times. Yeah, you're right. I, I wasn't sure if I... I'm going to yeah. give you this back. No. You're right. I didn't read the up to five dice. Yeah, yeah. I just read the five dice. So I'm going to keep that. You're going to roll three more sixes right so now. Anyway. You have eight HP. Eight, yeah. So I need that, 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 potentially that, or that. Yeah. <laughs> you have lots of choices. Don't worry. Oh, but that's not really where you wanted to go. So you're at seven. Sorry. Uh, yeah, I see what your game plan is. You could get a three of a kind, though, to deal powder keg. You might do seven. I might whoosh, whoosh, cut it in half. I should really buy a quieter keyboard. Hang no, on. I'm just going to do... I'm going to do my last roll here. Okay. Corey, I think you're well, done. Okay. Okay. That's a lot of fives and sixes. Mm. I'm going to spend 2 CP, change the value of a die, okay. and then I'm going to spend 1 CP, 1 CP, and same Z's, same Z's, yeah, so, and then do you have another one to make yourself an ultimate? I mean, I could just do 1 CP and re-roll up to, my, you know, I'll just re-roll this and see, uh, it doesn't matter because, uh, Inflict Parlay, Powder Keg, Wither, and deal eight right. undefendable I'm going to spend one CP mm -hmm. and select one of your opponent's dice and force them to re-roll it. I want you to re-roll this time. <laughs> you forced all my cards on my hand, and I didn't even think about that card. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I think I screwed you enough. I've still got this, which is eight undefendable damage. Fuck! <laughs> Wait, 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 do I have... No, no, that's it. That was my, that was my, <laughs> that, was, that was my play. Uh, okay, eight undefendable. Yep, that's... and you don't have an evade? Uh, and I don't have an evade, no. So I am dead. Good game, sir. Good game, sir. That came down to the wire. This is, this is an all or nothing Oh, totally, gameplay. it is 100% blast your way as fast as possible. If I never had the heal off of my, like, very first hand... I would never have gone for that play. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, Because yeah. I'm like three, that's almost an extra turn just for free for one CP. Ooh. Whew. Oh. Yeah. Um, check your... I'm going to check... White, this. white borders. Usually are uh, upgrades. They'll have like twos or threes next to them. Like I have showdown three. My showdown three is actually really good. Nope. So that's the upgrade thing is this entire flip. Yeah, you get to flip your board and do an entire upgrade. All right. Well, There's I There's some cool ones. Though. I am 0 for 2. Down to the wire both times. All right, that's it for this episode. Thanks for tuning in. Remember, we go live every Monday on twitch.tv slash techgeekgamers and uh, or youtube.com slash techgeekgamers every Monday morning-ish. Patreon.com slash techgeekgamers to get the episode early. Thanks very much, and we will see you next week on to the post show. Bye.